I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but the devil wants you to give up. The enemy has been attacking you so hard because the enemy know that God has a promising future for you. If only you could see what's right around the corner, trust me when I tell you, you wouldn't give up. Giving up wouldn't even much be an option. God has a special plan for your life. I want to look you in your eye when I tell you that. No matter how little, small, insignificant, unimportant, and overlooked that you feel, listen to me, God still has a plan for your life. And maybe you've made a lot of mistakes in your past just like me. That doesn't disqualify you from being used by God. I hate to spoil the ending for you, but you win in the end. Also, I hate to spoil the ending for you. There's nothing you can do to mess up God's plan for your life because you're not that powerful. <laughs> he knew you was going to make mistakes. <laughs> he knew that. He already factored in that to the equation because because he be human and we're trying our best and we're submitting to him daily. And he's using us and growing us and molding us and shaping us more and more into what he wants us to be. Because see, you're made in his image, meaning there's an empty void right here that only God can fill. You can go to the drugs, that ain't going to fill you. You can do the alcohol, that ain't going to fill you. You can do this, you can do, no matter which road you travel down the, in the world, it's a dead end street. It's only God that can fill that void. And I'm here today to tell you, man, don't give up. We all go through situations. We, 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 we all go through it. The Bible says in this world, you will face tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have already overcame the world. So that's Jesus's reminder to me and you to say, look at the markers. You're going to go through some things. But boy, I need you to keep going. I've already overcame. I've already defeated the enemy, Demarcus. I just need you to keep going and trust more in my ability to succeed rather than your own inability to fail. Because what 1 John 4, 4 say, greater is he that's in me. Oh, this man, hey, this make me smile every time I say it. <laughs> greater is he that's in me. That he that is in the world, that means the task that's in front of me is never greater than the power that's inside of me. Because who it is, it's Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. And I, I also got something else for you, man. It takes the same amount of energy to run from something as it does to run toward it. So what you going to give up for? Why are you going to keep running away from challenges in your life? Boy, run towards that thing. Many people, they fill out an application and, and they get a call back, want, want to go to the interview and they say, oh, I don't want to go. I'm nervous. I'm, they're going to be like six people at a table looking at me at the job interview. That's what they supposed to do. <laughs> what? So you're going to run from it and not show up because of fear? What fear stand for? False evidence appearing real. It's not even real. Some of them people might not even show up for the interview. They may be running late or something. You know what I'm saying? People got their own problems just like you. Stop letting fear stop you view it god's way f-e-a-r face everything and rise boy you f-e-a-r face everything right you show up to that child interview as a child of god you be honest with them you answer their questions honestly and boy you let the chips fall where they may if it's god's will then it's god's bill if it god want to provide if, if god leads you there he'll, he'll keep you there <laughs> so what are we gonna fear for we got no reason to be fearful but every reason to be faithful you already know what fake stand for. F-A-I-T-H. Fear ain't in this house. Fear ain't in this house. What else fear stand for? I mean, faith stand for? Forwarding all issues to heaven. You ever call somebody phone and they phone, like go to voicemail, like they got it on do not disturb? What the lady on there say? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voicemail system. That lets you know you can't reach them right now, man. That lets you know, take it up with the voicemail because this dude right here, he unavailable. And listen to me, when the enemy called my phone, my, you know what my thing say? Your call has been forwarded to Jesus. <laughs> enemy hang up. No, oh, I don't want to leave no voicemail. Not to Jesus because Jesus already defeated the enemy, boy. That's who my line is connected to. I fall with all issues to heaven. When something bothering me, listen to me. The Bible says casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. When I'm going through situations in my life and it's a little too heavy and I say, oh, Lord, I'm feeling the weight of this. I, I, I'm overthinking it. I'm confused. I'm burned down or whatever. God, God say, DeMarcus, just give it to me. Why you want to carry that around? Just give it to me. And I say, here you go, Lord. I'm forwarding all my issues to you. And then listen to me. Oh, I experience his peace. Because the Bible says he'll give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. The Bible says he will keep in perfect peace those whose mind are steadfast on him because they trust in him. So listen to me. It's an even exchange every day when I wake up. 
You know how you, you know how I know that? Because I, when I wake up, I say, here you go, Lord. Boy, look, I give him all my worries. Here you go, Lord. I, I, I got a lot of them for you. Lord. I give, give you all my worries. And what he give me in exchange, he extended hand and say, DeMarcus, well, here go my peace. Because, see, peace is not something, it's someone. You got to give him everything you got. That shows that you trust him. Many people say, oh, I'm going to give God the big problems, but I'm going to take care of the little problems. No, give him all of it. <laughs> what you holding on to that little bit? Boy, that little situation will wear you out. In the same, you see this little key right here, boy? Or girl? If I'm holding this key right here up like this, I'll probably tell you, I can hold this thing up for 30 minutes straight. It, 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 this thing don't weigh nothing. It's light. Check back with me in about two hours. Boy, my hand will be trembling like that. It's too heavy. Uh, Check back with me in about six hours. My arm will be over like this. Check back with me in two days. Boy, I'll be over like this. Why is that? Just because the key doesn't weigh a lot doesn't mean you should be holding it that holding on to it that long, Demarcus. Just because that problem is small don't mean you should be holding on to it because over time it adds up. It, 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 it starts to burn you down. You got to be quick to give it to God. Listen to me. I don't think about nothing more than about five minutes. <laughs> Hey, I'm keeping rip. I can't handle it in five minutes. If it's still worrying me and I'm still <laughs> here you go, Lord. What that peace feel like, DeMarcus? I'm about to show you. <laughs> I'm about to show you what, what I'm gonna show you what true peace feel like. Sometimes you be in some funky situations in life, man. And I say, Lord, I need your peace. And you know what he do? He said, I got you, DeMarcus. I say, all right, Lord. Bible say, taste and see that the Lord is good. This is the one. God is going to give me peace in my situation. And then, no matter where I go, boy, the situation get to smelling like the word. I begin to speak with authority, boy. Everything come out of my mouth going to be fresh because I got the word in me. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. If you squeeze a lemon, what's going to come out? Lemon juice. <laughs> if you squeeze an orange, what's going to come out? Orange juice. You squeeze a tangerine, what's going to come out? Tangerine juice. Boy, you smart. When life squeezes you, what's going to come out? Whatever you've been putting in. <laughs> Whatever you've been putting in, dog. <laughs> so put the word of God into your situation. Because the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. So you got to feed your heart faith when you don't need it. So that your heart can feed your mouth faith when you do need it because life and death is in the power of the tongue you got to load up the chamber you got to fill up with the word of god listen to me i'm in acts what this is chapter 14 i'm starting at verse 8 you feel me <laughs> while they were at lystra paul and barnabas came upon a man with crippled feet he had been that way from birth boy had been burned down man so he had never walked he was sitting and listening as paul preached check it out check it out Looking straight at him, Paul realized he had faith to be healed. Boy, you can see faith on people. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So Paul called to him in a loud voice, stand up. And the man jumped to his feet and started walking. Boy, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It said he was listening to him preach the word of God, boy. Faith comes. When faith show up, boy, you got to be ready, boy. What faith stand for? Fear ain't in this house. Forward and all issues to heaven. It's going to be a good day, man. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the word. I will not give up. Because that's right. Don't give up. And don't give your attention to the enemy. Because what you tune into, you turn into. And whatever entertains you, trains you. So be mindful of where you get your attention to today. <laughs> we staying in the word of God. And we keeping the freshness everywhere we go i love you so much i'll see you on the next video